this is an updated version of how to register your business name and your business here in the Philippines through the newly launched Central Business Portal. Siyempre, kapartner niya yung iba't ibang government agencies dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. So, panoorin nyo ang video to because this is for you, again, mga entrepreneurs natin dyan. Hi everyone and welcome back once again to my YouTube channel. Ako po si Glenda and in this video ay pag-uusapan nga natin ang tungkol sa pinakabagong Central Business Portal. Central Business Portal is a one-stop site for all business-related information. So it's where citizens and business owners can access the forms and requirements they need for their business-related transactions. So the main goal of the CBP or Central Business Portal is to promote effective service delivery and transparency in the government and to streamline the registration of business, renewal of permits, and other activities through online transactions. Meron na siyang sariling website. Pag once na nag-open kayo ng website ng uh, BNRS, magpa-pop up doon yung announcement na meron na ngang central business portal for business registration. Ayan, pwede nyong i-close lang yun or pwede kayong mag-proceed dun sa bagong portal. So, nabuo po ang central business portal na to under the Republic Act 11032 or the Ease of Doing Business and Efficient Delivery of Government Services Act which provides the creation of a single portal to make business transactions easier and faster. So, ito po yung uh, naging tulay kung paano po nagkaroon ng central business portal. Ang main purpose po talaga nito is pag-isahin yung proseso ng pagre-register ng business dito sa atin sa Pilipinas. So, ano ba yung mga proseso na pwede nating gawin sa Central Business Portal. So, number one is yung company registration. Unang-una dito yung pag-re-register ng business name and then pag determine of course, kung anong type of business yung i-re-register natin. Pwede sole proprietorship, pwede partnership or corporation at pwede rin cooperative. And then number two is yung tax registration. By registering through the Central Business Portal, the applicant can know the type of tax as well as the amount that needs to be paid. Once completed, the company will be assigned a tax identification number or TIN. Depende po yan sa type of business na i-open ninyo. And then number three is employee registration. The Central Business Portal allows you to register your employees. With the integration of the Central Business Portal to the systems of the social security agencies such as SSS, Pag-ibig, and PhilHealth, the business applicant will not have to personally go to the offices of the agencies. Malaking convenience na po ito, itong part na to ng proseso. And then number four is yung business license. When the Central Business Portal determines the industry subclass, it will also determine the type of licenses that may be required by your business. So say for example, you belong to the food industry or food business. Maybe kailangan mong mag-register sa Food and Drug Administration. So makikita mo dito kung saan ang department ka mag-register. Finally, the business permits. These are issued by the city or municipality where the main business is located. So, hindi po ito basically sa CBP apply kasi ito ay kinukuha po natin sa mga LGUs natin. By acquiring business permits, an employer is allowed to do business inside the jurisdiction of the city or municipality. Ito yung tinatawag nating mga mayor's permit, barangay business permit, and so on. So, I will be sharing my screen with you. Ipapakita ko lang sa inyo yung itsura ng portal na yan para dun sa mga hindi pa familiar. So, this is the Central Business Portal. Ang website po niya is business.gov.ph Ayan, makikita niyo po yan dyan sa screen niyo ilalagay ko. So, pag nakita niyo po ito, kung wala pa po kayong account, just sign up for a new account. Ayan. Kung meron naman na po kayong account before, login na lang po kayo. Ito naman po. Maglalagin ko po kayo. Let's try kung paano po mag-sign up for a new account. Just input your email address. Ayan. 
your mobile number, first name, okay, and then just uh, click the I agree to the central business portal's terms of use and privacy policy. And then sign up, just click the sign up button. Yan, success, an email has been sent to the email address you provided. So, okay lang natin yan. Sa email na marireceive ninyo ay nandun yung verification link. So, ikiklik nyo lang yung verification link para ma-verify yung email address ninyo. And then, you will be given a temporary password. Ang gagamitin nating username pag nag-login tayo is yung ating email address na ginamit sa pagsasign up. So, and then yung password, ipapakita, makikita nyo yan sa email ninyo. Alright? So, you will have to put your email address and then you input your password and then you click the CAPTCHA and then log in. Okay, so you will be asked to change your password. You will need to input your new password. Okay, so mag-input lang ako ng bago kong password. And then, just click the save and log in. Okay, your password reset successful. Okay lang. Lalabas na ngayon dyan ang iyong dashboard. So, makikita nyo dyan yung mga record ng applications ninyo. So, if you want to register a business, so, i-click nyo lang po itong register a business. So, click lang natin, no? Tapos, Ayan. So, may mga questionnaire dyan na kailangan po nating sagutan. So, are you registering a new business? Yes, I am. Or no, I am renewing a business. What kind of business entity? And then, it's a company, a sole proprietorship, or a cooperative. So, pwede pati ang cooperative dito. So, what is your role? Of course, you are the business owner. So, you will put the business owner. Let's try yung sole proprietorship and business owner. And let's proceed to user account information. Okay, so dito sa user account information, ilalagay nyo na dyan yung mga personal details ninyo. And your residential address on the next page and then your business address on the next page. And then just follow kung ano na yung magiging uh, just follow kung ano na yung magiging instructions sa inyo ng portal. Kasi, igagide naman niya kayo throughout the registration process. Hanggang dito lang yung mai-share ko muna sa inyo. Just follow kung ano nga yung magiging instructions sa inyo. Kasi, nandiyan naman yan, makikita nyo lang. Just click next button para makita nyo kung ano yung mga next pages na kailangan ninyong filapan. And of course, the requirements sa pag-apply ninyo ng pagre-register ninyo ng business. Okay? You can still watch my old video about how to register business here in the Philippines. Pagpunta nyo sa LGU ninyo, pagkuhan ninyo ng mayor's permit, yung procedure na dyan po sa video ko. Makita nyo po yan dyan sa taas yung link. So, that's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Just click the subscribe button below this video or uh, at the end of this video. Ayan. Maraming maraming salamat po sa Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video nito. And stay safe and stay healthy everyone. See you on my next video. Bye-bye! Sorry about the noise. Kasi yung electric fan nakaharap sa akin. Kaya medyo may ugong. Hindi ko siya naigawi sa kabilang side. Bye-bye!